All right, Steve, um, what I'd like to do right now is go visit your trade, and, he, and here's why. Um, in our trades, we'll take a look at it after a while. Um, I mean, they're going to go through it with a fine tooth comb. Um, they're awesome at finding out anything that's wrong with the trade. However, it's my job to find out what's good about the trade in order to get you top dollar. I also want to make sure we don't miss any equipment or options that you should get credit for when it comes to valuing the trade. It'll take about 10 minutes. Is that cool? Sure. Okay. Okay, so Steve, this is it. Alright. <laughs> okay, um, first of all, I can tell you for a fact that this is the kind of car that we would love to buy. Okay? Um, what have you liked best about it? Well, it's been a good car. Okay. Yeah, never, Reliable? Never any problems. Yeah. You know, okay. good gas mileage. Good. Um, the equipment uh, on there now that you definitely want to make sure you have on your next one. Alright. Leather seats. Uh, okay. Backup camera. Okay. I don't care about a sunroof too much, but uh, okay. You know, got you. Fuel economy. What's this get right now? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Very good. Um, I see that uh, someone, somebody hit a curb down here. Mm. Was that you, or was that somebody else? I guess it was me. I'm the only one that drives it. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to ask a question. Um, I get very seldom get the uh, the uh, a positive answer to this, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Do you happen to have a cosmetic wheel repair policy for this vehicle? No. Okay. The reason I ask is if you did, um, cosmetic wheel repair policies take care of this. It's probably about a two or three hundred dollar repair that someone you know that we'll have to do as part of reconditioning. Um, if on your next vehicle, you have the opportunity to get one of those. Or, mm -hmm. by the way, with our Motor Trend certified vehicles, it comes with one of those. It would have taken care of this repair and, quite frankly, driven up the value of your car. Okay? Okay. So let's walk around. I see that you, like everybody else in the state of Tennessee, has got a ding here or a dent from mm -hmm. time to time. Um, I'm going to bet you don't have a painless dent repair policy either. Okay. Again, same same scenario. What is that? Uh, yeah, well, well, I don't want to bore you with this, but uh, if you had a ding or dent power, a painless dent repair policy, it would repair all the dings and dents on this vehicle. I have absolutely no charge to you. Again, driving up the value of your vehicle. I tell you what, we can shortcut this. Um, do you happen to have the paperwork from your previous purchase? Yeah, it's probably in the glove box there. It, why, why do you need that? Well, here, here's why I ask. Um, we can we go through this for with about every customer. We look at this paperwork to try to determine, A, what products they might have that would drive up the value of their present vehicle, and B, the state of Tennessee, by law, um, requires any product that you have not used completely, term or miles, as the case may be, to be refunded to you, cash refund, so it could actually drive up, uh, drive up a little cash for you. Okay. We'll grab that in just a few minutes, okay? All right. All right. I uh, see so we got a little uh, star in the glass. Yeah. Okay. Um, obviously, your insurance company will replace the windshield if it gets too bad. Um, we also provide all of our customers on the Motor Trend certified vehicles a policy that will fix that. Okay. And uh, things like that for absolutely nothing. Right. Because it, Because now we'll have to fix or replace the windshield, which, which again, I um, mean, it just would have made your, your vehicle work more. Right. Okay, I know you've got Michelin's um, all around except for the uh, Goodyear Eagle here. Yeah. What happened? I just had a flat tire when I was on the road and they had to put one in there. Okay, okay. Um, you didn't have road hazard coverage on this one? I don't I'll, even know what that is. I'll tell you more about that later. Yeah. Okay, now I noticed when I started it up, the uh, check engine light came on. Do you, when we grab the paperwork, will there be a copy of the vehicle service contract in there, or did you get a vehicle service contract when you purchased this vehicle? Uh, you mean like a warranty? Yeah. Or just the manufacturer. Okay, yeah. and we're and we're out of that. Um, they call used to call them extended service contracts, but actually vehicle service contracts. If if you had one, two things happen, both good for you. Number one. There's a chance that whatever this issue is, the vehicle service contract would repair at no cost to you, okay? If your vehicle didn't need any repairs, you would be probably do a refund if you had this vehicle service contract, something you certainly want to consider for your next vehicle. Um, how many keys do we have for this vehicle, Steve? I got two. You got two. 
that's good news. And I'm going to tell you why. The keys for these suckers are about three to four hundred bucks each. The fact that you've got two of them helps the resale value or the uh, trade-in value. So good job. Okay. Um, okay. Anything else you'd like to tell me about the car that, uh, that would help me give our uh, appraiser some positive news here? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he's going to take a look at it and see it's got nav and low miles and everything okay. like that. Yeah, well, I, I made a list of the equipment. I also took down your VIN number, which also tells us what the equipment is. So we won't miss any of that. Well, let's go back inside and uh, see what we can do. Okay.